Tom and Ben News United Kingdom. We will continue about the Turkey Syria earthquake, and Turkey is working on opening two more border gates with Syria to enable flow of humanitarian aid to the neighboring country. Speaking to reporters, Turkey's Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavusoglu said damage on the Syria side of the road leading to a border gate solely open for humanitarian aid as part of United Nations Security Council authorization is causing difficulties in quake response. However, he also added that there are some difficulties in terms of Turkey's and the international community's aid reaching to Syria. For this reason, efforts are being made to open two more border gates. Syria's President Bashar al-Assad is seeking political advantage from the earthquake, pressing for foreign aid to be delivered through his territory as he aims to chip away at his international isolation, analysts say. Amid an outpouring of sympathy for Syrians hit by the earthquake, Damascus has seized the moment to reiterate its long-standing demand for aid to be coordinated with its government shunned by the West since Syria's war began in 2011. But Western powers have shown no sign that they are ready to meet that demand or re-engage with Assad, but his hand has been strengthened by difficulties facing cross-border aid flows into Syria's rebel-held northwest from Turkey. The aid flows, which is critical to around 4 million people in the area, have been temporarily halted since the earthquake, although a UN official expressed hope that they could resume tomorrow. Damascus has long said aid to the rebel enclave in the north should go via Syria, not across the Turkish border. We have just received news that three Britons are missing following the earthquakes which struck Turkey and Syria. Making a statement in the Commons, James Clevery, the Foreign Minister, said, as of this morning, we know that three British nationals are missing. He added that the Foreign Office's Crisis Response Hub is working to support at least 35 British nationals who have been directly affected by the earthquakes. From everyone here at Tom and Ben News United Kingdom and TV Media UK, we hope that everyone is okay. Rescuers have been working in extremely cold temperatures searching for more survivors since the 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region on Monday morning at approximately 4.17am local time. Nearly 12,000 people have now died across both Turkey and Syria, with the World Health Organization saying facilities, <coughs> excuse me, facilities could reach as high as 20,000 in the coming days. On the issue of aid, Mr. Cleverly told MPs the Turkish government is requesting international assistance on the scale that matches the enormity of the situation that they are facing. Okay, we will continue the coverage as it happens tomorrow, so please subscribe, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned.